So, um, good afternoon. My name is Julio Vergara, and on behalf of the organizing committee, I would like to welcome you to the 2011 UCLA Physiology Distinguished Lecture, sponsored by the Department of Physiology at the David Geffen School of Medicine. Let me remind you that this initiative emerged from the unanimous perception from the faculty of our department that there was a need at UCLA for a high-level lecture series intended to motivate students and investigators in topics related to uh, physiology by exposing them to world pioneers in different fields. Professor, uh, we are extremely fortunate that our third speaker in this series, Professor Sir John Walker, a co Chair of the 1997 Nobel Award in Chemistry with Professor Boyer, which is an honor to have here as well. Uh, kindly accept our, invit our invitation to deliver this 2011 lecture. Although Sir John Walker doesn't need any introduction, I would like to ask Professor Ron Kayback from our department to highlight the significance of choosing Professor Walker as our physiology uh, distinguished lecture today. Ron? Well, I since thank you. It's a real pleasure and, and an honor to have John Walker here and to be chosen to introduce him. But this is not going to be the introduction that you're all expecting. Okay, so I have to take all of my props out here before I start. <laughs> no. uh, this is obviously the uh, curriculum vitae of Sir John Walker, the director of the Mitochondrial Biology Unit at the MRC Cambridge. You all know that he won the Nobel Prize in 1997, that he's a famous scientist. This is a CV, and it's really boring. What I'm, <laughs> what I'm, going, to do is I'm going to tell you about the secret of life of Don Gianni Walker. Knight of the Realm and the Capo di Capi of the Cosa Nostra. Okay? You don't know this, any of you know it. I'm not sure he knows it, but he's going to find out. So, Professor Walker, at a very early age, was known to be a genius, the Galileo of the Midlands in England. And here's a picture of him. <laughs> so here is a picture of uh, Don Gianni as a, a young man uh, when he realized uh, very early on the, from the toy, the carousel, the merry-go-round in his left hand that subsequently in, in years to come, he might have realized that the F1, F0, ATP, A synthetase <laughs> might just work by the same mechanism as his toy, okay? So, he was recognized very early as a very smart young man. Now, during the ensuing years, he went to the, uh, uh, the uh, St. Catherine's University, where he got a degree. Then he was at Oxford. He got his MA and his DPhil. At the same time, he was becoming a brilliant scientist in training in science. He was becoming up further and further advanced in the Cosa Nostra. Okay, and here is a picture of his, himself in his adult life, if I could change the slides, why <laughs> not? What did they do to this thing? <laughs> okay, so here's a picture of the consigliere uh, Paolo Boiarini whispering into the ear of the Don and saying, yeah, Johnny, we made a damn an offer that they couldn't refuse it. <laughs> if I can next, oh, Jesus. Which button did you click? <laughs> why, why don't you just stand here and <laughs> I can't keep going. What the hell did they do to this thing? Okay. No, no. Come on. Okay. And you can see the offer that they made that led to the awarding of the Nobel Prize uh, from King Gustavo of Sweden to uh, the Don in 1997. Now, if I push the button, it will work. <laughs> uh, very recently, we obtained from the Italian Secret Service a video of uh, Don Gianni lecturing the Cosa Nostra in, a, in, a, uh, in Corleone, Sicily. Uh, he was uh, lecturing them because uh, he no longer believed that the black hand, the logo for the Cosa Nostra, 
was uh, modern enough. So he wanted to change the logo and he's lecturing on the logo here. Per la you can see the black hand. E per aver promosso l'immagine di Bari. The black hand uh, was uh, no good anymore. He's telling them <laughs> it needs to be modernized and uh, then one possibility that he thought about was the lactose permeas. I never <laughs> that also was ridiculous. And then he is lecturing and coming up with a, a, a new idea for what the, what the logo should be. And of course, you get already it's a, the, the ATPA is <laughs> going to tell you about it, okay? So he, he really kept the audience wrapped and, and, and paying attention, as you will see. Everybody's paying attention, except for one person who seems to be sleeping. <laughs> Maybe you can recognize that the person, okay? <laughs> Anyhow, it, to be serious for a minute. <laughs> so it is really a pleasure to have John here. This is Sir John Walker, Fellow of the Royal Society, Nobel Laureate in Chemistry in 1997, and Capo de Tutti Capi, okay? And he's going to tell us about <coughs> ATP synthase, the understood, the uncertain, and the unknown. Professor Don John Bonner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.